So once again, uh, I also, <laughs> or the wine, but it, <clears throat> let's also not forget the, the investments that have gone into the art gallery of Alberta. And these are all going to position this city very well for the future. So in total, the 2010-2013 capital plan supports more than $20 billion in capital projects, including $7 billion this year. Now I'd like to point out that this investment in infrastructure is nearly double the per capita compared to any other province in Canada. Now some people have said that perhaps Alberta should start cutting its infrastructure spending during these economic times. Well, I can tell you, those people are wrong. There's no question that we do need to be careful with our dollars right now. And you can see that in their budget. 13 departments have seen their budgets reduced. But cutting back on infrastructure during a downturn isn't a good long-term move. Infrastructure is an economic enabler. And that's why when the recession hit, nearly every jurisdiction in Canada, every jurisdiction was scrambling to find, uh, remember, the shovel-ready projects to invest in, even if it meant going into debt. Well, here in Alberta, we weren't scrambling at all. We already had a long-term strategic capital plan and the money in the bank to pay for it. Furthermore, investments in infrastructure keep people working. We expect this year's capital budget to support about 70,000 jobs. Those are families that will have security, continue to spend money, and spur growth in other parts of the economy. And remember, 60% of our economy is consumer spending. Now at the same time, these projects help to maintain industry capacity. And beyond that though, infrastructure serves a far greater purpose, and that is of enabling economic growth in the long term. It provides the roads and the highways that are the backbone of our economy, the schools, post-secondary facilities, to train our workforce here, and the recreation and cultural facilities that add to our quality of life. Now, simply put, safe, Modern and efficient infrastructure is essential to a growing economy that creates wealth. It also creates a prosperity that's needed to sustain programs and services. And that's why I say that investment in infrastructure is an economic enabler, something that will enhance Alberta's competitiveness globally. As the world leaves recession, and takes its first tentative, and I say tentative steps towards recovery, we're going to see some huge global economic shifts, big shifts. Now, our economies, those economies that have neither cash or the blessings of natural resources are against the wall. And competition for markets and capital will only intensify. That means we need to compete and win on the global economic stage. We just can't look at how we're doing, you know, competing against BC or Saskatchewan. Instead, we need to work with our neighbors to be competitive in much bigger markets and position our province, not only to make it through the recession, but to come out better, stronger, and smarter than ever ready to be an economic leader in a post-recession world, just as we were before. This won't happen without the construction industry in its role as an economic enabler and a competitiveness booster. Our government has been proud to, to count on your members as among our many partners in completing infrastructure projects all over the province. We're still counting on you during these belt tightening times, when we will need to work together even more closely. To work closely to, to really to do more with, with less money. But we have been receiving excellent uh, bids in our projects 
thanks to the innovative approaches your members have taken. We also appreciate your partnership, your partnership in programs like building information modeling and projects to train skilled immigrant workers for jobs in the construction industry. I would like to thank the members of the Edmonton Construction Association, not only for your kind attention this afternoon, but also for continuing to build our province in a very real way. It's been my sincere pleasure to have the opportunity to join you this afternoon. And uh, now I look forward to taking some questions from the floor. Okay, thank you.